You know, Pashtuns are passing through a very critical period of their life. Uh, you know, the Pakistani army is committing gross human rights violations. Heart-wrenching videos of the chained and tortured victims are being disseminated on social media platforms, deepening the community's drama. To uh, urge Pakistan, to force Pakistan to stop the torture of the Pashtun ethnic minority in Pakistan, it's equivalent to genocide of the Pashtun people. There is literally no other institution except the army and intelligence agencies. They are becoming more aggressive, more ruthless, more cruel. So the human rights situation in every front is worsening. Pakistan has become a habitual offender when it comes to misusing this August forum to peddle baseless and malicious propaganda against India. Member states of the United Nations and other multilateral organizations are well aware that Pakistan does so to deflect the international community's attention away from its own abysmal record on human rights. Vice President, although the violence against Sindhi Hindus has been a dark thread in Pakistan's history, forcing approximately 80% of them to flee their ancestral homelands since the country's inception. However, recent years have witnessed an alarming escalation. Sindhi Hindus now face multifaceted state-sanctioned attacks. These include forced conversion around 20 girls per month, mostly minor girls, desecration of places of worship, attacks on their properties and businesses, blasphemy charges and abductions carried out by the bandit gangs, including children, girls and elderly. <laughs> 